Yo, what's good with y'all, man? It's 50s here, and today I am back with a new video, man. As you see in the title today, I got a new build video for y'all, a center build, actually. This will be my second build of NBA 2K21, and honestly, I think it's just, you know, the perfect big man build. It's an all-around player, so I feel like if you even decent at the game, you're gonna excel with this build. It has amazing defense. You can guard the one through the five. You can dribble. You can get contact dunks. You can shoot. I mean, you can do it all. But hey man, I just want to get into the build tutorial, so let's do that. The position of the build would be a center, like I said in the title. Hand in this can be anything, and jersey number can be anything. Now for the height, you want to make the build 6'9". I know for a center, this is pretty short, but don't worry. You will still be able to guard any build in the game, even them, even them big ass 7'3 post scores, man. All you need is just a little bit of IQ, and you will be set. For the weight, you want to go down to 220. Keep the wingspan the same as 7'5", and body shape can be anything, but I'm going to just go with build. Okay, so now we're at the attribute screen. I think I'm just gonna start with finishing. Max out standing dunk and driving dunk. Come down to shooting and max out three pointer mid range and then free throw put that up to 54. For playmaking, max out your speed with ball and put your pass accuracy up to 60. For defense, max out interior defense, perimeter defense. For defense and rebounding, max out your interior defense, your O rebound, your D rebound, and your block. And then put your perimeter up to 69. Last but not least, your physicals come down here and max out your speed, acceleration, strength, and stamina. And then we have the 95 overall. Now, if you don't really like the 70 vertical, what you can do is come up to free throw, take that off, and put it down to a 42, then put the rest on your vert and have an 86 but for me i feel like i really don't even need that so i'm gonna put that back down to 70 and put the rest on the free throw for the takeover i feel like you should really go with whatever you want i feel like this is just more your preference uh, for me i definitely want spot up shooter in there but probably want that secondary and then i was looking at the uh rim protector takeovers and i think i want to go with paint intimidation so i'm gonna go with that and spot of precision and there we have my takeovers okay so now i'm gonna press a to finish and we get a two-way three level score shades of clint capella jared allen and christian wood now i feel like a lot of people are probably using a two-way three level score but I don't think they're really built like this. Like I think a lot of people would have, you know, no interior defense at all and just have their perimeter max, probably lowest weight possible, probably just an average wingspan, something like that. But let me go on and show you what I think I would set up my badges to be. For finishing, we have bronze pro touch, rise up slithery finisher and heat seeker all on silver and then posterizer on hall of fame. For shooting, we have sniper and volume shooter on bronze, set shooter and green machine on silver and then catch and shoot and hot zone hunter on gold. For playmaking, I have Hall of Fame Quick First Step, Silver and Pluckable, and Bronze Dimer. I'm probably gonna change this Dimer a lot, just depending on what I'm playing. Like maybe if I play twos, I'm probably gonna put it on, I don't know, silver, at least at least silver, maybe gold, something like that. I don't know, it just really depends on the game what I'm playing. And last but not least, the big boy, we got the defensive badges, Brick Wall and Heart Crusher on bronze, Box, Hot Stopper, Tyler's Defender, and Worm on silver, Chase Down Artist and Pogo Stick on gold, and then intimidator rebound chaser and and then intimidator rebound chaser and river protector all on hall of fame i feel like that's a pretty solid badge on up but i don't know i have to you know upgrade the build and go into my career play but you know games grind get all my badges and see what works for me I feel like that's a pretty solid badge lineup though, but I still have to upgrade the build and play a bunch of my career, get all my badges and see what works for me. So we'll see. But yeah, man, that was the build, the best all around center build in NBA 2K21 next gen. So yeah, if you made it to the end of the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Also share with your friends too. But yeah, man, I hope I see y'all in my next video. I am 50s or Zion and I will see you later. Peace. I can't believe I almost forgot that was wrong.